Okay, over here on the shelf is where I'm going to put everything. This is my two batteries that I have right now. These are just normal deep cycle batteries. I, I can test out the uh, inverter with them. That's the super start. Turn one around here for you. Super start marine. Deep cycle. So we're just going to check the inverter on them. There's the big old inverter here. And I got these cables in today. Four there. This inverter also has a has a remote control and that's the wire for it these lines here that came with the inverter are a little bit smaller gauge than these here are I've got some this one's a heavy gauge like that's two gauge these are two gauge so I'm gonna hook up the batteries with these hook up both batteries to it and We'll turn it on and see what it does. Okay, on the back here, we gotta take these covers off to get to the where the battery goes to. Okay, now we got the covers off. Get a heavy gauge wire on there. I think we're just gonna use the wires that came with it right now. Okay, I had to switch the, the batteries over on the other side. So the wires would reach. Got everything connected. I got my that's a 40 amp fuse right there. That's my remote control here. Tells me the level of the batteries. So I got three of these smaller wires that came with the inverter. I got them connected in here with the fuse. Keep them all the same colors. This may spark a little bit when I start this up. Yeah. Charging the capacitors in there. So now we're good to go. Go in here and put these on there. These three on there. Now this is just all temporary. This is just to test the inverter. These are just ordinary deep cycle batteries that you have in your... These are batteries you'd have in your boat or your RV. Okay, we're going to see if this thing is going to smoke. I think it'll be fine. But here's your remote. I'll hit the button here. Let's see what happens. Hmm, didn't do nothing. Gotta hold it a little longer, huh? Okay, it says we don't have full batteries charged. So... Output. 126 volt. That's the two deep cycle batteries. Okay, this fan's not going to come on until it's under a load. So we'll try something out real. Here's a real light load right here. LED shop light. Try this out. 
Yeah, it's good and bright. Okay, here's here's the grinder wire. I gotta get all this put on there whenever I do a complete install on it. Here's where you tied in your house wiring. Connections right here. I'm gonna give these a test run, these two batteries here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get my batteries next month. And I need at least four of them, maybe six. In case we have an ice storm. We've had ice storms here before. Been out of power for two or three days. Yes, I do have generators, but them things get pretty fumy. That's good that this fan won't run all the time. Because this thing will, will burn a little power. Okay, we've got a, we've got a grinder here. And it's got a pretty good size motor on it. Let's see it's got. See how many watts it is. Four inch angle grinder, five point eight amp. But it does have a a starting peak power is ten thousand. 10,000 watts. So yeah, it shouldn't have any problems starting it with a 5,000 watt normal normal running power and then 10,000 starting power. So Try to see if we can get the fan to kick on. See, this grinder's nothing for it, it looks like. <laughs> Ain't even fan even kicked on yet. That's cool. You're seeing it at the same time I am. Trying to record with one hand and seeing what this thing will do. These solar panels are 400 watt. You get on Amazon, and I'm, and I'm going to add a panel. So that's going to put me 500 watts. Anyway, I'm going to right up here, right up here above the stove here, we're going to, we're going to put the charge controller right here next to this switch, put the co charge controller there, run the wires over here to the, over here to the battery and inverters. I'm sure I'll have to get some custom size cables. Cause I'm gonna have to have my all my fuses in there, the big fuses, the little fuses that come in off the solar panels. Gotta have fuses on there. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'll add any more to this video, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a solar install on this channel. I think you might find it interesting. See how this how good this thing is going to work. Like I say, I'm getting my batteries next month. You can get the 
real expensive battery. They're almost a thousand dollars a piece, but I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna spend that much money on batteries. I think there's several different kind of batteries. I mean, there's some high tech batteries nowadays. Oh, I couldn't believe. Got to looking into batteries. Some of the smart batteries got the communication ports that you, you flip open and you, you plug them in. I guess you plug them into all your all your batteries so you can. I mean, they got circuit boards and everything else on the top of these nowadays. It's pretty well. And then you got your circuit boards and stuff from the top part of it, and then your your cells and stuff down below. So it's pretty interesting. Some of them's got like little round cells. Other ones have like little envelopes. I forget what they call them, but you watch some of them. I watch some of them uh, solar panel videos, and they're pretty interesting. Be on the safe side. Disconnect all your power wires off your off your battery. That way, there's nothing hanging out here to make a spark of any kind. This thing got a little bit warm during the test. But apparently not enough to start it up. I like that because it that way it'll save on battery power. Fan won't come on until it's needed. I guess that's all we got for today. So this thing's just sitting there now. I'm going to unplug it and be done with it for today. Thanks for watching.